Hey everybody, this is Mr. Glass, and this is the first of what may be many um, screencasts just to show you um, kind of some of the main ideas and stuff that we're talking about. The first thing that we're, we're going to talk about um, is the process of protein synthesis, and, and protein synthesis is going from DNA to RNA to a polypeptide. Um, and DNA, again, is too big, it's in the nucleus, can't get out of the nucleus. So we're going to talk about the process of how you get the information from the DNA to actually produce a protein. And you can see here, this DNA to RNA to protein, this is the central dogma um, of molecular biology. And, and we're going to talk about uh, transcription first um, to RNA. We'll splice the RNA, talk about translation, uh, and then we'll get to, to a protein. So um, this, again, just the general outline of what we're looking at. And if you take that um, and say, what exactly are we looking at? Um, we're looking at the... Um, idea that we can take something like this, we can take a gene, uh, which is just a small piece of, of uh, DNA, and that gene is going to code for an actual protein or a group of proteins. So if you want to know what a gene is, uh, it's just that piece of DNA, that, that strand of DNA right there, uh, and we're going to use that strand of DNA uh, to actually make a protein. Okay, so now that, that we've talked about the, the central dogma and, and what a gene is, we're going to talk about uh, transcription first, and transcription is the process of going from uh, a strand of DNA, a gene um, on the DNA strand, to an mRNA. So um, what we have here is a um, animation, which I've I've turned the sound off of this so that we can talk over it. Um, but it's an animation uh, that'll give us the process of transcription and do it fairly well. Um, so again, talking about transcription, and um, we are going to go from we are. Uh, from the process of making RNA, and specifically mRNA, messenger RNA, from a DNA template. And we're going to talk about the, the key factors that are involved in this process. Um, so obviously we have our gene, that's our big strand of, of DNA, and here we have our transcription factors. Um, transcription factors will identify um, the promoter region. They'll let us know where we should start um, our strand uh, of mRNA. Uh, you're not going to need to know the transcription factors um, the specific individual transcription factors, you should just know what they are. The fact that they're, they're there to, to help us define what the promoter region is uh, in initiation. Um, and before we go any further, um, transcription takes place in three steps. Um, you have the initiation step where you're trying to find the promoter region. You have the elongation step where you're actually making your mRNA strand. Uh, and you have the termination sequence um, where the uh, last part of the gene tells the RNA polymerase, the enzyme that we're going to use, that it's time to uh, stop transcribing. So, again, we have our um, transcription factors. Go back a little bit. We have our mRNA polymerase, or excuse me, our RNA polymerase. This is the enzyme that's going to actually do the process of uh, transcription. And we also have our energy, which is ATP. So, we have our long strand of DNA, um, and we have go all the way through this long, this is our gene now, the transcription unit all the way down to the end. And then we have what's called a TATA -ta box. A TA, TA, um, this is a double-stranded piece of DNA, and, and we know uh, from the exam and from first semester that the TA, TA, um, the bonds there are easier to break because it's just a pair of, of double hydrogen bonds and not triple hydrogen bonds like you'd see uh, with a CG sequence. Uh, so that TATA -ta box is going to help us identify the, the promoter region uh, and allow us to do our initiation um, for transcription. Um, so we have that, and we also have uh, a piece in front of it called the enhancer region, which helps this process go through. I'm not really concerned about the enhancer region for us. Um, one of our transcription factors, and again, you don't need to know the name of TF2, TF2D, you don't need to know that. Um, it'll give you a bunch of transcription factors which you're not really going to be responsible for, or you're not going to be responsible for. So we have our Transcription factors come in to build up, and this process takes place uh, through a series of enzymes. This is not just biomagic that's going through. You have a bunch of enzymes that are actually putting this whole thing um, together. Um, so we have our transcription factors, and here in comes our DNA polymerase, excuse me, our RNA polymerase, and RNA polymerase is going to land on the strand of DNA, and we'll have another animation in a second. That'll show what this actually looks like on the uh, on the DNA side, um, on a smaller side of the DNA. 
Here's our ATP. It's going to drive this energy to go through, and, and still we're on the promoter region. We're still talking about the RNA polymerase, which is right here. Um, and what you see here is this RNA polymerase is separating the two strands of DNA, the purple one on the bottom and the blue one here on the top. It's separating the two strands of, of DNA and creating one mRNA strand from it. It's not using both strands. Uh, it's just using one. Um, so it grows, and this is our elongation step where we make our long strand of RNA. And eventually we get to a, a region of the gene where the DNA sequence tells the RNA polymerase uh, to stop and terminate, and that's our termination sequence. Um, and there we are. We get our strand of, of mRNA. Our RNA polymerase will go away, and there it is. That's our new strand of mRNA. So we looked at the entire process of uh, transcription. I wanted to take a look at this more on the molecular level to, to show exactly what's going on here uh, on the two strands of DNA. So I have another one, uh, another uh, website, another animation. Uh, the website is posted right here if you want to take a look at it uh, to show exactly what's going on. And what I want to show you um, is what's actually going on in, in the DNA strands. So um, we're missing uh, the RNA polymerase. You know, that's not in the, shown in there, but it, it's actually aiding in this process. So what we have here is two strands of DNA, two complementary strands of DNA, and you have this strand of DNA that's going from the five prime, which is up here, to the three prime, which is down here. And then the uh, strand of, of DNA that we're actually going to transcribe with the three prime up here and the five prime down here. And this is where the idea of, of five prime to three prime comes in. Um, and we're gonna translate this thing, um, excuse me, transcribe this thing in the five prime to three prime direction on the new strand. So we're gonna use this strand here and as we create this new strand, we're gonna go five prime to three prime because it's opposite of this one. So this is gonna be the five prime end and this is gonna be the three prime end. And again, this is uh, transcription. So what we see here is we have the promoter region right? and, and we've identified the Tata box here and, and um, we have our transcription factors uh, that have attached on uh, and our RNA polymerase has come in and actually started creating some of those uh, uh, RNA uh, nucleotides, or not creating, but adding those RNA nucleotides on. Um, so what you see here is going in, again, the five prime to three prime direction. Uh, and then as it's gone through, the DNA is, is congealed back together by the RNA polymerase. Um, so we're creating this long strand of, of RNA. And you can see over here on the side, um, the color, again, not great to see, uh, but you're, it's showing you going down this entire gene of DNA. Um, and this is, is, again, the same process that we talked about just now on, on the molecular level. Um, so let's take a look at that one more time. RNA polymerase comes in, opens it up. We have our promoter region going on the new strand of RNA, on the new RNA nucleotides in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction to actually create that strand of mRNA. As that mRNA is released, right, we have that DNA strand coming back, to, back together. Um, and what you're going to see here is the... Um, again, eventually, this entire strand of, of RNA coming through, um, and this is going to go all the way down to the end. Um, so again, just another uh, quick um, explanation of what's going on on the RNA strand and the DNA strand at, at the more molecular level.